Hello everybody, Yelsa Farmer here and welcome to my first look at the 20 foot gooseneck tipper trailer by A2 Square Studio. Now this uh, at least I've been waiting on for the last couple of weeks and I know there's a lot of people also have been waiting on this. Uh, actually last Sunday I think it was I was up until 2.30 a.m. in the morning here in Norway uh, looking at uh, A2 Square Studios model his name is David Fructuoso or something and he had a live stream where he was uh, more or less finishing up this trailer and there were a lot of viewers and he asked about ideas what do you want to see on it and there's actually some uh, some features on this which the subscribers and viewers uh, tipped him about and he well I don't know about many models but this David guy he's he's awesome you know he he really listened to his uh, subscribers and he did uh, some live modding as we were uh, he was streaming and yeah it's amazing uh, first of all this one you'll find on the trailers and it comes in actually two different setups uh, there are uh, a couple of good mod reviews on this already with Mr. CVP and DJ Gohan which is a more into the bone review of it but basically uh, it comes in two different setups if you go down here it, it's this one basic with 26,000 liter and it's this one with 30,000 liter and you can change the color main color that's the trailer itself design color on this one I don't I don't see any changes uh, but if we go to the basic one the design color is the cover on top and on this one you can also add tension belts so uh, if you don't do anything with it that will be inactive so just make sure to activate that one yeah and that's more or less it and the price is it's only 8000 <laughs> so there you go so let's look on a couple of features on this uh, I need my help window. You know, there's a couple of. I'm uh, just starting to use this. It came out yesterday. So let's see if we press L1 and left, it opens up the cover. Really nice animations there. If we press L1 and X, it will unfold the tipper and some cool animations will appear like this so now you can drive vehicles into it and fold it back again and you can of course tip it then it's L1, R1 and triangle to unfold to, to uh, tip the trailer and it goes really high up so if you are in a small barn or a cell point which has a low roof don't uh, this is not the right trailer for it and then we go over to lights that's also some Q features. Uh, we have uh, normal lights like this, 
and we also have the side flashing let's see like this right and left but not only the back one flashes also on the side of the trailer you can see and there's a couple of lights which he actually did the last modding on when we were looking at the stream and that's if you see the A2 square logistic um, logo and where it stands 20 feet just above that there are some working lights I cannot get to turn them on but I'll find out of it but if you press L1 and R1 and right stick left and right you can actually turn them so these are like working lights during the night so that's pretty cool and the trailer itself has some support legs so if you press L1 and right stick there you go maybe you see it better here and if you press R1 and then right stick you can lift the whole trailer up from the gooseneck and you <laughs> this trailer the hydraulics is so strong so we can actually lift the whole car if we take those down we can start the car and if I do this one down we lift the whole car up <laughs> like this that's pretty cool. So, uh, how do I get this one up again? Oh, I got it. Choose. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, that's this one. Oh, here we go. So. What I was thinking of testing it a little bit today with some pallets and some uh, loose crops. So let's just start with some pallets of wool. Place those there. And it is a narrow trailer, but you can still get a skid steer in it. And I will also actually my farm tractor, which is a, a New Holland T5, does also fit in the trailer. Maybe we can put them on top and see if the straps will go all over those one. Let's see. Whoa. Yeah, not the best loading, but I think we can also attach the straps here. Let's see. Yeah, there we go next test will be how 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 high can we build this maybe 10 pallets and then try it so i'm gonna go down on the spinnery and try to unload these uh, 
because usually when you go to spinnery and sell wool you have to if you have a flatbed trailer you have to like drive back and forward back and forward and one one pallet at a time disappear so with this one I assume that you can just tip them just at the sell point and they will sell straight away so bear with me and I'll see you at the spinnery so now we're at the spinnery and let's try to sell this bull I think we'll unfasten the tension belt like this L1 and R1 You don't have access to this land. What? Unfold tipper. No. Bum Or maybe I'm oh okay. Why can't I tipper? Uh unfold tipper. No. So and papa do I need to unfold the tip off to Why can't I unfold her? I mean, you first need to fill the tool. So, I ended up here. <laughs> I had a little bit fiddling around with this and like you saw you can drop uh, pallets of wool straight into your already product in the trailer and I placed a multi-fruit silo here just for the test of it so when we drive over now we will get the wheat because still now if I press L1 and R1 I cannot tip the trailer but to sell in the wheat I'll press R1 and triangle and hopefully I'll get some money for the wool maybe unfold tipper get rid of that back bar the wool no wheat is selling ah oh, come on ah what? What is this? Unload here. What's going on here? They're stuck. How about I fold the tipper? Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, okay. Ah, there we go. So, not the best trailer to sell wool, I guess. There we go. So, but anyway, 
I think the trailer is uh, awesome anyway and the other thing I barely mentioned is that when we watched David do the live modding there was actually one viewer who wanted these mud flaps on the tires on uh, the trailer and he said yeah I can do that and he actually made this while we were watching and one guy said ah you have to put your logos on them and I said yeah why not and he did that also and another cool thing he did was these are actually hinged so when I drive forward and stop they will actually move you see cool is that? So, that's it. The 20 foot gooseneck trailer. First clinch. Not so good at wool pallets, but for picking up... Ah, maybe we should try the other one, of course. And what I'm really looking forward to is, of course, the other mod that David is working on. It's the TLX 2020. And that's a universal pickup truck. Which is, uh, yeah, I watched some of his live stream also on that one. And, yeah, it just you have to wait and see it's <laughs> incredible all the things that you can do with that truck ah uh, maybe I'll have to jump in the harvester let's see here Whoop. Another thing that one of the viewers said during the live stream was that the unload speed of the trailer was a little bit slow. Um, maybe I'll try to get it. Uh, so let's try to see the unload speed of it. jump back in here and and I never actually used a gooseneck trailer and a truck before but they're really um, the turning circle <laughs> or rate on these are incredible so you get can get into really tight corners and spaces so Let's just drive over these wool pallets uh, Bam. And uh, let's see how the unload speed is. Now I got 14,000 liters. Uh, not that bad. Seems like a normal unloading speed. So I guess he did some tweaking and fixing on that also so I think that's it very nice trailers I'm gonna use them on uh, my maps at least uh, for now I'll use the Scarrock and I'm looking forward to when the TLX gets the testing approved by Giants okay so if you like it smash that like button uh, leave a comment if you have any more ideas on how to use this and thank you for watching